Welcome back everybody, Costa Rica card collector. Today we're going to do the giveaway video. That was for the slabs that are in the back. You get to choose two slabs. I'll also send you some great cards of, that you collect. So you tell me your team that you like or the, your favorite player. Um, I got the, some other things planned. Uh, I got some stuff that I found when I was digging through some boxes. And I have uh, probably seen from the uh, caption in the startup video there. Or I'm going to share something that I've done, been working on for one of the community members. So I'm going to thank everybody who entered the video. Anybody new to the channel, I'm going to be doing some really cool videos here about uh, some of the artwork that I've been working on. And we got hashtag Costa Rica. Got the URL up there in the top. I'm going to get the comments right now. I want to wish everybody luck. Good luck here on this one. And thanks for entering again. Let's see who our winner is. And the winner is Christovar. Wow. That, I tell you, Christovar has been a, a member of the community for a long time. He's been making videos for a long time. So, Chris, you reach out to me. And uh, I, don't, I don't think I've ever contacted you or you have my uh, email. I have the, in, in this video my email in the, uh, in the description there. So congratulations to you, Chris. We'll be sending some stuff your way. I forget the players that who are your favorite players that you collect. And let's get on here. Let me open up the uh, tablet here to where I'm going to go for the uh, stuff I want to show you guys. We'll have to stop the video and I'll have to come over to the other, my table where I work. And so, Chris, we got the uh, slabs here in the background. I know you're a baseball guy, so you'll probably take the Acuna and probably the Jared Kalanick, but I know, hey, there's some nice basketball cards, and I got a cool football card up there. So um, you get to pick any one of those. We'll leave those up in the background. And I'll get into what I've been digging through lately. And I found some, here's some of the cards that I actually found that are going to be included in the giveaway. Um, I was digging through some, some stuff, and I found, here's one of the cards that, I found a bunch of these, and this is the uh, Chrome version of the NBA Stars. This is from 1996. So I found a bunch of the other ones. I found, I must have bought a couple boxes of this. So I'm going to throw these three in. So I got a Michael Jordan, a Larry Bird, a Will Chamberlain, and there's some other cards too that I found that I wanted to share with you guys. Now these, I'm not going to include in the giveaway. These three for sure are going to include in the giveaway to somebody. I thought that those were three pretty cool cards to have. From the... so put those up nicely in the back. And, of course, we've seen that one already. I found this um, Fast Tracks. Now this is from the Circa 97. And, and these cards have like a, like a felt on them. They're really cool. I found some other ones too. I found uh, Kobe stuck, stuck in a pack somewhere. And I thought that was pretty cool to show. A nice Kobe Black Diamond. And I found these two in a Bowman pack. So I probably never pulled those out. We had uh, we have Rafael Palmeiro there and Roger Clemens. So I wanted to share that with you. And I found these. I found some uh, frames. Now I did put these in the tomb bag. For, keep them safe. I should probably sleeve a couple of these up. But nice Randy Manny Ramirez. Let me change the... Uh, let me zoom in here, guys, to see if I can change this here. So we can get these up a little closer there. Now, they are faded a little bit. That's what happened to these, these uh, finest. Some of them are actually still holding their color. So maybe they're in different positions in the pack. So we have Rafael Lope, uh, Javi Lopez, Paul Molitor, Omar Vizquel, Bernie Williams, and a Gary Sheffield. Yeah, I found some other great stuff, too. I found these packs. And I wanted to open these packs up. Well, they've been opened already. I always put my cards back inside the packs when I was collecting back in the day. There's some more of those finest. I'll shuffle through those real quick. I found the Pedro Martinez, Bo Jackson, the Ozzy Smith, the Mark McGuire, and there's another one of those. Those were hard inserts to get. It's the Mariano Rivera. Another Mariano Rivera. Got the uh, Alex Rodriguez alumni card. Found some cool uh, Pinnacle Zenith cards. Those are some of those cards that I'm going to open up right now. I found a Derek Jeter hiding in the pack. I know that's the Electric Diamond. It's not, not, none of these are really big cards, but just cards that I'd probably save that I liked. 
And there's another Kobe back there. And these are those boss cards. These are cool. They're embossed. they got raised letters on them. These are pretty nice looking cards. So, hope you guys are enjoying this. And here's these, um, back Pinnacle in 1996 made these cards. And these, I don't know, something like maybe what Stadium Club is today. But they, they made these really cool designs with these golden bats in the background. And, and you know what? For being in the pack for so long, they're not in that bad condition. It's about 26, 27 years old, these packs, I would think. 26. So I thought I'd share a few of these with you guys. Sammy Sosa. Jack McDowell. Greg Maddox. A nice one. And these, I mean, the, the way that they reflect these cards. There was a lot of card companies back in 96, 98, and all in those years where they were making new, new products and new parallels and really cool inserts and stuff like that. So I thought that some of these were pretty cool to show you guys. I'll put those back in the pack later. A couple more here. Let me just shuffle through them real quick. Just some really cool looking cards. I also found this, um, I don't know if you guys ever did this before too, is you put your cards back in the packs. And it was pretty cool. I got that from the Baseball Card Emporium for $5.95. Brilliant uncirculated. So there was some really good stuff that you can get back, back in here. So I'm sure that everything, I pulled everything out of these. But I thought, you know, there's just some cool cards. You could see how the cards evolved to today and how they use some of the designs from they used before. Um, and cards that they're making today. So... All right, guys, I'm going to put the video on pause, and I'm going to bring you over to my drawing table where I do my work and uh, show you the next thing that I've been working on. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So uh, here's what I've been working on, and, and it took a little while to get the camera set up so I could... I'm going to try to show you guys a couple other things, too, here. So here I, I was working... I've been working on a Ken Griffey Jr. here for, for somebody in the community. And I'll go down and let's zoom in on the face here. You can see I got a little bit of detailing still that I'm going to work on, but I got the I think I got the eyes where I want them to, and got some of the reflections down on the on the helmets. And let me go back here, show you some of the other layers that I have worked worked in here. So what we have is up here on the top. I did this really cool swash. Now, I thought to lay that layer over the top. There's different layers. Now, you could see when I was working down here, I have um, all these different layers. I have the moon layer. Um, I did the uh, logo on the hat separate. Uh, I don't know. I work, I work kind of in a different way. So I got uh, the 24 down here on a separate line. Uh, Ken Griffey, Ken Griffey Jr. is on a separate line. I do, I work like in, how you'd say, in different layers and build up different layers. But I thought that this one was really cool. Uh, this is for Tommy's Breaks. Um, and I also didn't have time and I wanted to show you guys. Um, I did the back. I wanted to make this into like a card. So I had like cards to show. Um, like little, you know, trading cards. And I put, you know, Ken Griffey Jr. Moonshot number one on the back. Tom's custom cards. Or I don't know if I'll I include that stuff in, in there. But I wanted to have one printed up and show you guys. And I was actually going to send some away with the giveaway to the, to the winner. So I don't know if I have time to actually do those. But I thought that was something cool I wanted to share with the uh, community. And one of the things that you know, I really like doing is when I do these, and, and probably if you ever caught one of my other videos, you know, see if I can get in here and show you guys this. When I'm doing the... Um, the little lines on the uh, and you can see it's it's not like tight everywhere I use a, a blender brush up here at the top it's this one and I mean you can add we can add another layer on there and we could do it that way but what, what I like to do is see, you can see some of these little lines that aren't very smooth is like where I where I touch Oop. and we're not blending hold on a second guys get back on the blender 
and I could go in there and I could softly rub out some of those areas that are that are in there. And I don't think my pen is charged up. Give me a second here. Charger up real quick. Let's go back, make sure I'm on the right screen. And we'll go back here. And you can see I got, here's lost a little bit of that dark. Over here I lost a little bit of that dark. I can go in and this is how I like to manipulate and, and I could spend hours doing this um, fixing up fixing up lines and things like that so let, let me go in here and, and, and mess up an area so I, and I'll bring it back for you guys and show you how I do that like say there's an there's an area like that so instead of building the color back up on top what you can do is with this blender brush it's really fantastic you can bring up the intensity on the and you can go right back over the top. And you take those dark areas and blend those dark areas back out. And you can make the the look again, get that exact look that you had. And that's a lot of times when I go in there, I'm like, oh, I need some, some more darks over here or something like that. So you can see how that came back. I'm going to go back out. And you can see how, it, how we built back up to that. I'll get back to that little blob I stuck on there where I wiped it out and we'll go back to the it's, it's original so it's something one technique that I've been using a lot since I started on the uh, procreate here and it's really seemed to help me a lot in doing the blending it's something that a lot of people have trouble with when they're blending and they use an opaque or, or like a too opaque or not transparent enough so I figured that that is a good little technique. I don't know if any of you guys work out there. I'm going to be doing some new videos where I'm going to be showing some some techniques and stuff like that. And be opening cards too, but I wanted to do some new things. I hope anybody likes any of this uh, stuff that I've been working on here for the community. I'm really interested in, in doing some of your favorite player. And that's one of the reasons I'm making the videos. I want to reach out to the community and let everybody know that I can help out your favorite collect. Yeah, I know. All you guys collect. And I know a lot of people don't catch my videos, so I, you guys can share the word and get the word out there. Thomas is doing some uh, really nice stuff. And I thought that was a really cool background. So um, it's called the Orbital Series. Sorry for the long video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Anybody's interested in getting one of these done for themselves, reach out to me. We can do a different backgrounds. We'll throw any, any player. If you like that same background in there, I thought that these would look cool with some other basketball or even football players inside there, you know, and baseball. I think that just about anything works in there, but I got some different backgrounds. You remember, I hear some other stuff. Remember, I don't know if you remember some of the other stuff that I did for the community. Um, got that one there with the Costa Rican theme in the background. Did the baseball card for Eric. That's Hedgehog. And I did that one for Adam, Adam's card closet. I thought that one came out really nice, with the Costa Rican background. Got a bunch of other ones I did for you guys in the community, too. I did that one for uh, Rad and Dad. I did that one. Rad's favorite player. Did that one for Filthy's Cards Breaks. That's the Elvies and the Acuna. And I really enjoy doing these. Here's uh, one I did of my son. Um, I always thought that that one was pretty cool. I did the Mark McGuire with the bird on the shoulder. And I did that one for Tommy also. So... Reach out to me. I'd love to get any. Let me show you. I'd love to do one for you. Here's something new that I'm working on. And I'm not done with it yet. But I actually wanted to show you a little bit here what I've been doing. Let me turn that one off. See how I start the, the drawings out with the the line art? Now, I do build up the line art. This is, it goes to sketch. And then I go over the top of it until I get it refined. Get it refined. I got the guns in there. I got where she's going to be. And then I start going in and I lay in the the coloring and he actually here's a really good example of what I've been doing so what we have is this layer right here and I have it on neutral layer but I've been experimenting with different layers and that's what I'm going to be showing in some of the videos is if I switch it to multi-layer you can see it, it kind of darkens up a little bit the photo but what I did is underneath the multi-layers is I started to build up some of the colors that will go over the top for the eyes now show another example let me take that back and put it back to normal layer and you see that the colors in here that i have down here 
that I was working over the top to get it to the finish, they don't show up. Why? Because when you have a multi-layer, multi-layer, you're actually able to add layers underneath the layer. So let me grab these and put these over the top of the layer, which would be like something like where you're building up the old way. And you can add all these things up over the top. And you can start to see the different effects that come in. So let's take that back. Let's go all the way back. It's the extended part of the video here. We're going to leave it on multi-layer, right? You see where it changed the color, right? Don't worry. I can go back to one of my layers that I already had. And I'm going to I'm going to grab just plain white and bring plain white and I'm going to drop it into an area. And I could bring the color back that I had over there. So that's how I build up and build up and if I darken something too much it could come back there's all different ways to do this now what i did want to show you is one of the great things that i do that i learned on here let me bring that back to normal manually let me go now this is on one layer that's underneath my drawing layer which i set as my reference layer so what i can do is i can take my eraser up here at the top and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase away part of her. Why did I do that? And I'm going to show you guys how I bring it back. And how I do the shadings and stuff like that. So uh, one of the great things with uh, Procreate is you can just hold down and get the color that you are using. I have it set to airbrush. Picked up my airbrush over here, my soft airbrush. And, what, and this is going to look a little crude because I'm holding the tablet and not trying to knock over the um, <laughs> camera at the same time. So I'm going to build up some of these layers that we have for the skin tones. And I'm going to keep holding down and getting those lights built back up in there. And I'll go back over with, with that little bit of the light right there. Use that real softly. And I'm going to get that medium tone again. Bring up that medium tone up here. Come back around. Let's get our dark tone. Usually I have this done in a couple of shots, but I just want to show you guys how the effect is. Now, I'm going to fade that a little bit more. Now, how do I get it perfect? I go to that blender that's up there at the top. I use that same technique that I showed you earlier, and I'll use the blender to blend these areas a little smoother, right? Give it some form. Here, we're going to make her hip show up a little bit higher up here in this area. So that's the idea there. Now, you see this big overlap over here. I'm going to take the overlap off. I think we're missing a little bit of this color over here. I'm going to add a little bit of that. Too much. Bring it down a tad. I think it's showing up for you guys there. And... Back to our eraser, and I can erase really close to the line there. Let me bring down the size of it and go and clean up that line and erase that off of there. So that's how I've been experimenting now. I used to do it all different ways, but I, I've been working, and it's a little bit dirty right there where I smoothed it back off. But you can see how it, okay, went into the hand. You can see how you can work different parts of the canvas. I still call it a canvas. Get our, that's how I've been doing that. So you can see we're missing some of the form over here. We'll come back in with some of the color. We'll go in and airbrush real lightly over the top of that. And you build up those darks and lights like that. Now, what could we do? We need to fix this little area here. Came in there too strong. Get some more lights. You come up in here. You could see where I've been working in here and trying to get these shadows over here to match match exactly. It's a little bit too strong. We'll bring it down. Add some color over into here. If anybody's in the in the community that's interested in learning some of the techniques or something like that, you keep. Keep an eye on some of my next videos here coming up. And uh, I've got some new things planned. Show you guys what I've been working on. 
you can see how yeah, I mean you could sit here for days and and I'm gonna go in and start working the hair and you can see here let me take that away and take away my underlays there and you can see here I've been going in and start I'm getting started on on doing her face um the body I actually worked a little overlay over the top of the body where you can see the color for the suit that I've been starting to lay in so this um is going to be cyber cat she's going to have a cat mask and she may even have some ears and stuff up in there so I'm going to be working on this one I'll be doing some videos along the way and show you guys I'll probably have like a a time lapse video of me show show me doing the whole process or parts of the process until the finish. Take care guys. Pura Vida from Costa Rica. Congratulations Cristobar for the win. Reach out to me. I'll put my email on this video. Sorry for the long video guys but I wanted to share some great stuff with you and take care. If anybody remember if you like somebody likes this I I want to do these for the community so please reach out to me. I want to make your uh, your favorite player and do it on a nice thing. Now these are how you say digital so they get sent to you in a digital format. You can print these on t-shirts, business cards, posters, cups, I mean anything. This there's no limit to this. You can put it on like a baseball card or anything like that. You can even have it personalized. You can send me a picture of yourself. I can impose the picture of you inside the baseball card with some pretty cool background. And it's it's like a one on one. It's something that's painted by me by hand. And I take quite a bit of time on on, on these. So um, just for instance, let me go up and, and take a look here and look at the Griffey here and I can go to the canvas. Let's look at the, let's see here, canvas information. It tells me the statistics over here in the corner. This one I spent so far eight hours and 54 minutes doing. Not bad. I'm actually finishing them a little bit faster than I used to finish them before. They used to take upwards of about 15 to 20 hours. So this, of course, with the background being a little bit more simpler than the other backgrounds that I've been posing, I'm able to get these done pretty quick. And I'm only charging $100 to the community for these. So please, guys, reach out. I'd love to do one for you. And take care and Pura Vida. See you on the next one.